as Professor of Intellectual Property Law at Bocconi University, one of the most dynamic business and economics and law universities of the European continent, my objective is to disseminate a culture of intellectual property, to bring intellectual property closer to the real world, to manage that there be more research on the importance of intellectual property rights in a, in a conservative model as well as in a completely non-conservative model for the society in general, for the economy, for the individual, for the end user, the citizen. So for companies as well as for the citizen. By doing so, uh, I uh, developed several lines of activity, research, academic research, publication of uh, manuals, guidelines, articles, and of course, intellectual property teaching, teaching uh, in, uh, mostly in English, uh, the young generations of uh, future European uh, economic leaders in knowing the best intellectual property practices that exist on our continent and that they can use in whatever capacity, future capacity they will have. Um. Could you make two examples? Uh, you mentioned that you have uh, both traditional and non-traditional uh, interpretations of what uh, IP uh, adoption and IP protection can mean. Uh, so um, could you give us two examples and describe how these uh, benefited uh, uh, the uh, groups uh, that you mentioned? The, whatever my personal opinions are, the duty of a university, of a modern, democratic uh, and uh, future-oriented European university should have, this du the duty is to present to the uh, students and to researchers, to study and to present to them the various options on the models to protect knowledge and creativity. Um, the two models, the, the open models, so-called open models, as well as uh, the so-called proprietary model, the historical one, the conservative one, do presently compete. Uh, they often uh, clash, including in the, in the media, although one can also think that they perhaps uh, compete fruitfully to the benefit of the society in general, because at the end the conservative model is stimulated by the emergence of a new model, and the new model, the open model, also faces some limits. So uh, the competition between the two models results profitable for new generations because they have more options to capitalize and protect creativity and knowledge creation in general. And as we uh, Europeans, we are a European university, uh, although our students come from all parts of the world, from uh, 150 countries, uh, as we are based in Europe, we know that uh, in the present environment, it is true uh, knowledge that uh, Europe uh, has an advantage, but not that an advantage also has a key role to play in the community of nations. Europe, its citizens, its companies, as such. Very good. Um, so, um, what study or what uh, publication uh, recently achieved uh, maybe uh, in, in, in your line of work uh, a good level of, of adoption? And um, I have uh, contributed to um, an publication on uh, IPR management at the European level, including in a draft published uh, with the support of the European Patent Office, and uh, I have covered in particular uh, the part relating to the Europe's IP architecture, to the IP architecture of Europe, to the various uh, uh, systems of protections of all categories of rights within the uh, European Union and within the European environment in general, beyond the Union. Uh, that's one of the activities which is Europe-focused separately, in a personal capacity, I have uh, I am advising uh, WIPO, the World Intellectual Property Organization, therefore the UN body dealing uh, with intellectual property, the UN agency, in uh, drafting a guide that would help 
developing countries in Latin America to enhance their, uh, the capacities of their technology transfer offices so that these countries can benefit from an influx an inflow of capital as well uh, a capital to subsidize or to support rather than subsidize to support research in uh, the universities and so that these universities can commercialize the excellent research that they are actually uh, doing and that they are more and more doing this is also in line with the major fundings that the European Union has established some some business segments depending on the economic sectors have no interest in the present structure of uh, proprietary traditional models and find that they can live only with new models. So in this sense, business, some segments of the business society, of, of, the, of the business community are favorable to uh, changes and some are not. Uh, and that's why, no, clearly, no business is not resistant as such to the changes. However, um, it must be uh, said as well that uh, business is, um, that, that of course the students' community, because it has nothing to gain or to lose, sounds cosmetically more open to open models, more close to open models, although as long as a student pro produces something, even a thesis, he wants his own thesis protected by all the virtues and all the attributes that copyright gives. So as soon as people, as users of uh, intellectual property become producers of intellectual property, they are sometimes even more fierce defenders of intellectual property than what we imagine business would do, because business has many ways to gain money, and open intellectual property models can also, for some sectors, especially those where there is high and quick obsolescence, and those where there is a need to quickly build on the other's invention, which has a short life, there, in these sectors, there are options, models for intellectual property uh, that are different than in subsectors, where on the contrary, research costs a lot, does not give often results, and there, of course, it is very legitimate that the right holder wants to keep it for as long as he can. My highest priority to sort out problems would be a better, still a better awareness on intellectual property, a better understanding. The subject remains extremely far away and confusing for a large uh, part of the population and also for a large percentage of companies. This, we are presently in Italy. This is not an Italian problem per se. Uh, in Europe in general, in one of the countries where there is a large diffusion of intellectual property, the United Kingdom, it is considered that a large amount of companies still do ignore the advantages of using or protecting their, their IP rights, or if they knew, do know about it, do still nothing. So there is a wealth that uh, in our European nations we are still neglecting, and therefore the first activity, the first priority is making known to people in transparency, in academic honesty, all the options that intellectual property offers. After all, the open models are meaning a certain element of opening on property rights, but whatever happens, except in one extreme option, the creator of intellectual property still keeps a little part of his property, moral, economical for part of the users, moral and economical. But in any case, there is an element that cannot be alienated, that cannot be uh, separated from the creator of the work. Okay, thank you very much.